Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and this is tutorial number 55. And in this tutorial we are going to take a look at how to validate an email address using the filter var function. Okay, now there is another way to do this using something called a regular expression, but regular expressions look really confusing. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Um, <laughs> Go ahead and Google regular expressions in PHP or something and you're going to see it doesn't even look like computer code. It just looks like mumbo jumbo, like a whole bunch of backslashes and funny symbols. Uh, so <laughs> uh, this filter var function is a lot more kind to use and it works pretty much just as well. So that is what we're going to use in this video. Uh, so let's go ahead and actually... Uh, take a look at what we have in our form over here which uh, as usual is just a submit button and, and as input we've just got a text box with a name of email where the user can enter their email address and we're using the get method so if you take a look at that in the browser um, there we go that's what it looks like okay now let's actually use some PHP to handle the starter and just check if this email address that the user enters in here is indeed valid and there we go my voice squeaked I could I could feel it coming okay so let's check if it is indeed valid uh, and to do that we're first gonna have to check uh, if the value has been set so if this email value has been set if is set um, dollar underscore get and we'll have to set that as dollar underscore get email okay then we also want to check that it is not empty so I'm going to just say and not empty um, open up our parentheses here and just grab the same thing dollar underscore get email okay then let's go ahead and do something. So as long as uh, this variable has been set, i.e. the page has been submitted, and um, as long as uh, this variable or this uh, email is not empty, let's go ahead and validate this uh, email address. So validate email. Okay, if however the uh, email address is not been set or is empty then let's just go ahead and say else and we'll echo please enter an email okay um, so now let's go ahead and actually assume that the user has filled something in what do we want to do well we want to perform another check okay and that check is we want to see if this email is indeed valid okay so we want to use this filter var function like I said to um, check if the email is valid so I'm going to say if filter underscore var and I'm going to open my parentheses here because this is a function so that's the function name and parentheses put in a comma because this is going to take two arguments so the first argument is going to be um, what email address or what uh, bit of string do you want to actually validate and in this case we want to validate whatever is in this input box okay so how do we get that value well we're using this dollar underscore get email and that's going to grab the value straight for us okay then the next thing we want to do is um, tell this function what we would like it to do because this fault of our function can actually do quite a few different things um, but in this case we want to validate an email so I'm going to hit my caps lock button here and type in filter underscore validate underscore email and that basically just tells this function okay validate the email address that you find in that value okay 
Uh, whoops. Take gaps like off. Uh, okay. Uh, now let's go ahead and actually uh, put out some output. So just display some output uh, if the email is valid. So if uh, the email is valid, then this line of code is going to run over here. So let's just echo out um, the email is valid. Otherwise, uh, let's go ahead and say else. And this line of code will run if the email is invalid. So we'll just go ahead and echo um, invalid email try again. Okay, go ahead and click Save. And if we go over to Firefox here, uh, just click Refresh. Hmm, I made a mistake. And it's always the semicolon on the last line that I typed. It's kind of funny. Uh, let's click Refresh. I must have left out another semicolon. Oh, I didn't save that. That's the problem. I didn't save. Okay, cool. So please enter an email address. Uh, let's go ahead and enter something in here. So um, let's enter one, two, three, four, five, six. And of course, that isn't an email address. So let's click submit and invalid email. Try again. Okay. So um, our function was able to tell that one, two, three, four, five, six doesn't look like an email. Now let's go ahead and type something that does look like an email. Uh, so let me just type this whole thing out again. Quinton at programmerscreed.com. Uh, click submit. And it says this email is valid. And I just want to point out that that email address doesn't actually exist. I haven't made it yet. Um, I probably will one day, you know, when I'm not feeling lazy and I decide to set up an email. But uh, yeah, that email um, is still valid even though it doesn't actually exist. For the reason being is because our validate email function only checks if there is an at symbol and a dot symbol and some text in between. So something here, something here, and something here. Okay, obviously uh, this text can be pretty much anything as long as there is an at symbol and a dot and of course no spaces because an email shouldn't have spaces. Okay, so uh, you might find that if I go ahead and click submit uh, we're still getting this email is valid and even if I typed something at something dot something um, let's go ahead and run through all of this so something at something dot something so I don't even have dot com or whatever click submit that is still valid as well okay so this is just checking that the email address looks like an actual email if you want to know if the email address is actually a working email where you can get hold of the person then you're gonna have to do something that pretty much every website does nowadays anyways and that is uh, send a test email to that email address and tell the user, okay, we've sent you a link, go ahead and click on that link to verify that you indeed own that email address. Okay, uh, and of course that is like the popular thing that everyone does, so um, that's why I'm telling you guys that. But anyways, uh, that's pretty much all I have for you guys in this video. So <laughs> don't forget to subscribe, please feel free to leave a comment, like or share this video, it's really going to help my channel grow. And I will see you guys next time.